Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm back here at Paul for part two of our series of shoulder traction. And so now I'm going to have Paul actually explain this one. It's actually a real cool one that Paul just showed me. Very interesting, very cool. And you guys are going to enjoy it. Okay, so this one is going to be for the, uh, mainly for the chest and the front of the shoulder muscles. This one's perfect for anyone who has rounded shoulders or uh, upper cross syndrome or anything like that. Those postural deficiencies. It's really going to loosen up the front of the chest and the shoulder. Um, and remember, you can take it away. So grab the band. You're going to put your band through and then go piggy up to the ceiling and grab both sides of the band. Then you're going to walk away from the band until you have a good amount of traction on your shoulder joint. And then once you have that traction, you slowly rotate away from the band. So on your left arm, you're rotating clockwise. If it was his right arm, you'd be rotating counterclockwise right now. So if he's feeling a stretch across his chest muscles, his shoulder muscles, his bicep muscles, even, even though it's not where you're tugging. And uh, it's just great for the, sh the shoulder capsule. Okay guys, so there you guys have it, that's shoulder traction part two. It's a great little traction thing that you guys can add. If you especially have rounded shoulders, anyone has rounded shoulders like this, it can help kind of improve your posture a bit and kind of just correct any uh, deficiencies. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to check out Paul's channel. There'll be a link in the description below. And guys, until next time, so stay tuned for part three of the series.